Hi, this is Sean with another quick hit. I'm currently going through Silverado, and it makes me want to talk about um, a trap for a lot of writers. And that is when you have two scenes, uh, where first scene, character A tells something to character B, and then you have a scene where character B has to relay that information to character C. Now, the trap that we fall into is a lot of people write exactly that. They have a scene where character A says to character B, and then they have a scene where character B says the same thing back, uh, relays the information to character C. See, the problem with that is the audience. The audience has already watched the first scene. They know what the information is. So as they're telling B to C, we're just hearing the same thing over again. We're just replaying the same scene. It's uninteresting. The audience is ahead of you. They already know the information. They're waiting on the other end. You never want the audience waiting for the story to catch up to the audience. It should be the reverse, if anything. Um, there's several ways around that. Uh, one kind of popular way is to uh, just not even show the second scene and, uh, you know, uh, have the audience figure out, oh, he must have told them in between. Uh, another thing that's done is you start the second scene late. Uh, so right after he finished telling the story uh, B to C, and therefore the audience doesn't have to sit through it. Um, those are both very good answers. Uh, the other possible thing, too, is to tell it different. Uh, make that second scene a different way of getting the information across. Uh, Silverado uh, does this quite brilliantly. And if you happen to have uh, Linda Hunt and Kevin Klein in your movie, and I strongly suggest you do. Amazing actors, right? Um, you can give it to them so that the actors can relay the information without us, uh, without having to tell it, uh, retell it in the same way. Um, so what has happened here? Um, spoiler alert, if I forget to put that up front, um, is uh, Cobb, who is the bad guy, uh, has done something. The Kevin Klein character uh, is ready to intervene, uh, but Cobb says, uh, if you intervene, I'm going to hurt Stella. I'm going to hurt Linda Hunt. And so uh, so Kevin Klein's character steps aside. Uh, Linda Hunt's character has no idea that uh, Kevin Klein... Kevin's character like likes her so much, right? Uh, so she comes to him and she's trying to get the inform trying to get from him why is he not getting involved? Because she knows that his character is the type of person who would get involved uh, in this kind of situation. He's not going to stand by and let innocent, pe innocent people get hurt. Um, so she says, you know, Cobb must have something really big on you. And he's like, oh, really? Maybe I'm just not a good guy. She's like, no, I know <laughs> that you would be involved unless he had something over you that was very, very very compelling. Um, and uh, so here's how the information gets across. Here's how uh, Kevin Klein says to her, oh, it's you. Uh, he's going to hurt you if I get involved. And her uh, responding and going, oh my goodness, I did not, I did not know that. This is, this is interesting information. Uh, but again, because we have these actors, uh, here's how that scene plays out. There's no telling what you're going to care about. Is that what he said? Well, I figured it okay this time. Right. If you've got great actors, you don't need to say anything. <laughs> you just have to let the two of them psycho uh, uh, psychically s transmit the information. Um, the characters know each other so well, he just needs to, to say, oh, we figured it out. And she's like, what could it be? Look at her, not be able to make eye contact or going, wait, it couldn't be me. Is it me? Oh, my goodness, it's me. Ah, that changes everything. Right? Just lovely, uh, lovely way to do it. So if you have to write that scene, at the very least, write it different. This has been another quick hit. Thank you.